Hi everybody, Spider Cal back once again. I'm back after quite a long time of being away. And my apologies for that. Um, I wanted to do this video for a couple of reasons. Uh, mainly to be to um, just explain where I've been pretty much this entire year. Um, I've actually not been very well this year. Since New Year, I've not uh, been too good and steadily declined as the year has gone on. Uh, to the point where I had to take a month off work. Um, and I'm back at the moment, but kind of reduced sort of uh, sort of role, steadily getting back into it, um, just because it's taken quite a lot out of me. Um, so obviously because of that, uh, I've just not been in the right sort of place, or feeling well enough really to do a video. Um, there's been a lot going on, and um, just just been a lot to do. And it's not like YouTube is kind of like my main source of income, like a lot of people, you know, a lot of people rely on it, it's it's their main job, and, and great to them. This isn't the case for me, I have a, my own full-time job that I, I love dearly, um, and I do this for the fun. I do this because I enjoy making videos, and I enjoy uh, making something that you guys enjoy watching. That's the whole point of what I do. Um, so yeah, so I mean, it's not like I, I needed to make them. And basically, if I had made them for the sake of making one, it wouldn't have been up to scratch. I've said this so many times, uh, but I don't want to make them just for the sake of making one. Um, I want to make it because it's something that I want to do and that you guys are going to enjoy. And I did actually try to make a video um, back in, I forget when it was now, it was um, a couple of months ago. It was whenever Newcastle Film and Comic Con was on. And I did a, a video then to kind of like announce I was going to that and that if anyone was going um, to look out for me. Uh, I made it, I edited it, I, I just never posted it because I didn't like it, basically. It was a, it was a terrible video, <laughs> um, which is why I'm kind of doing this on my phone so that I can just put the pictures in that I need to uh, that are coming up and just post it straight away, which is kind of why this is, might seem a bit less edited than I usually do. Um, just basically, it's just me sitting here talking to you guys, really. Um, so yeah, so my apologies for not posting. I'm a lot better now, a lot better than I was, uh, definitely on the up, and definitely um, improving. So I have a lot of videos planned. I, I'm well behind on the Marvel chess from Eagle Moss. Uh, they're, they're into the second wave now. We've had so many specials, so many more specials than the, 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 the Batman one had and I'm loving them all so I've got a lot of <laughs> Marvel chess figures to catch up on and I intend to they might be way out of date you might have had these figures for years before I get around to reviewing them um, but I kind of want to talk about them all because Marvel is a big uh, big favorite of mine despite the picture up here of TC Batman and Superman and everything which was given to me by a very good friend and I love that poster uh, but Marvel is uh, where my heart is, and uh, so yeah, so this this line and this chest line is, is, is I'm loving it. So I really want to do that. I also have picked up something else quite recently that I want to share with you guys. I'm not going to tell you what it is. However, if you look over here, you might see a sneak peek of it. If you can figure out what it is from that, hats off to you. I'm, I'm impressed. However, I want I want to do that in a special uh, video that I have planned. So if you can figure out from that. Well done. If not, don't worry, I'll let you know. The main reason why I wanted to do this video as well as to explain where I've been is to um, announce kind of like I was saying there recently. I went to the Newcastle Film and Comic Con back in, I want to say, March? Uh, it might have been March, I can't remember. I think it was March. And that was one of the big, first big conventions I've ever been to. Which is quite surprising considering how much I love um, Marvel, DC, um, science fiction and all of the things that I love. And I've never really been to a comic convention. And that's the first one I went to and from that, hooked. Love them. So I've got a couple planned for the rest of this year. Uh, the main one is it's July 13th today and I am going to the London Film and Comic Con at um, the Alexandria this Saturday the 18th. Um, going there with my wife. And i um, very much looking forward to it. Very, very excited. Uh, there's a few celebrities going there that I really, really am looking forward to meeting. And I intend to get autographs. Um, mainly among them is Christopher Lloyd. Love this guy and I look, really want to meet him. 
Um, recently announced, I say recently announced, announced a couple of months ago, but announced was Jason David Frank, also known as the Green Ranger and the White Ranger from Power Rangers. Power Rangers was a big favourite of mine growing up. And this guy was, was one of the, the best. I, I, I loved him in Power Rangers. And as soon as he was announced he was going, oh, I oh, loved it. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm queuing for this guy. So I can't wait to meet him. And there's a couple of others as well. Jonathan Frakes was going. I was looking forward to meeting him. He's had to cancel. That's a shame. Um, but there is a few other people. Got, there's so many people going. I mean, hell, Michael J. Fox is going to be there. I would love to have a photo shoot with him. I cannot afford that, though. Uh, who else is going? Uh, uh, oh. So many, so many. Tim Ross, Ethan, um, Ethan Phillips, Ethan Phillips. I'm not feeling that. Yeah, he's right. Ethan Phillips played Neelix in Voyager. He's going. I loved him in in Voyager. Um, Garrett Wang's going, but I met him at Newcastle, so that's that's one down. Um, who else is going? Oh, so many. There's just so many celebrities going that I really would love to meet. And so yes, yeah, so I'm just really excited. Also, when I went to the one at Newcastle, it was the first time that I've actually tried my hand at cosplay. And I went as V for Vendetta. And I'll put a picture up here. And now that's a costume that I pretty much, well, I say, I say, I, we, my wife and I made that ourselves. And uh, I was very, very proud of it. The, the hat is homemade. It was made by cardboard and my wife covered it in felt. The daggers are homemade. The bell is homemade. The tunic was homemade. Um, pretty much the only things that weren't was the mask, the wig, um, the shirt was just black tunic shirt, black jeans, and then those slip-on boot kind of things. Uh, the rest of it was pretty much homemade, and it's my first time dabbling in it, and I was very, very proud of it. There was two main things during the, the event of Comic-Con that kind of annoyed me about it, though, uh, that I have worked on improving ready for this Saturday. First of all was the hat, and as you can see by this picture here, which was posted on Facebook by someone who took this picture of me, the hat kept sliding down. Now, I d designed the hat so that when I have the mask and the, the wig on, it fit nicely around the shape of my head wearing the mask. And, and it just fit there. And every time I tried it on, it would just sit there. And it wouldn't move, because it was jammed by the... Because the, 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 it's a porcelain uh, mask as well. It's... Um, special one from China, and um, it just wouldn't move, so I was like, great. But as the days went on, it just kept sliding down, sliding down, sliding down, to the point where that picture you've just seen, and it's like, here on my eyes, and I'm like, I can't see a freaking, I, I couldn't see anywhere, you're blindsided, you're like this, but then you're like that, and I was like, I can't see a dumb thing now. So I've worked on improving that, uh, and here is, here's the hat, as I say, it's made out of cardboard, and you can see kind of under there, it's just made out of cardboard, and then with this around it, and my wife put the uh, the material on it. She did a fantastic job. Absolutely thrilled with that. Just such a good job. And all I've done, as you'll have seen, I put a little band in there. So I tried it on with the mask and the wig, measured where this needed to be. So now I'll put this on, but it looks ridiculous because it's far too big. Because it's too... There you go. Because it's to, it's to go with the masks. So that's why it's wobbly. But yeah, now it sits and it doesn't fall. Whereas before it was doing this. So, so yeah, uh, so yeah, very pleased with that. So that works nicely now. So that's fixed. The other thing I was a little bit disappointed disappointed with, but just just wasn't quite happy was the daggers. Um, the the handle for the daggers I was thrilled with. Basically, um, I'll show you these. Uh, that's the daggers, and I was really really happy with these. And all this is is dowel. And one of these, a wooden kind of like draw handle. That's all that is on the top there. And uh, just give you uh, just a pack of like eight of them, B and Q. There we go. And all I did, put that down there, I drilled on the top of it, put a piece of dowel, and then sprayed it silver. And that was it. Um, and then all I did here, as you can see, just uh, ba -da -da, dowel in there, drilled a hole. And then that's one of those, um, you, you screw it into there, then it's got like the sharp bit there. And there we are, that's all that was. And just just so, so pleased how well that went together. And I was just so happy with that. And there you go. And it looks just like V's, V's uh, the top of V's handle, and I loved it. The rest of it, this bit took a little bit of time. That's a bit of dowel, as I say. 
And this took a while. I, I tried lots of different things to try and get this kind of spiral design that he's got. And then eventually I found uh, cricket bat handles online on eBay, really cheap. And so I bought a couple and they were, they were much bigger. They're obviously for cricket bats, but I cut down the middle and then, I don't know if you can see there, but there we go, sorted it up. And then basically it went around the spirals here with silver pen. And that was it. That's all of it. Um, so yeah, that was all of that. And I was just, I was, I was so thrilled. That was just one of those things where you make it and you're like really, really happy with it. Um, so there we are. The rest of it, the, the blades originally, um, again, I'll put a picture up there. It was basically, um, silver duct tape and, um, uh, pieces of cardboard. And I just went over it in silver. Basically, I ran out of time. I was running out of time with these. I managed to get these done. Uh, I put a bit of dowel in there, and that's dowel running all the way up here. And that's pretty much what that is. And then I ran out of time, and I kind of rushed it, and I didn't quite get to do what I really wanted to do, which is what I've done now. Um, so they were a bit too thick. They were a bit too cheap looking. Uh, these were basically bits of cardboard spray painted silver and stapled together, because I did that the night before the convention itself. So it wasn't quite, wasn't quite the desired look. They were too thick. It just didn't look quite right for me. Um, so obviously, as soon as the convention was done, I thought, no, I need to remake them before London. So that's what I've been doing. And this one is basically it's it's thinner cardboard. I used um, cereal packet um, cardboard, uh, cut a lot thinner, and stuck to the dowel. And then this is papier mâché. Um, so it's it's your old. Art attack sort of trick of papier mache, 50% 50 50-50 of PVA and water, and there we are, and that's what that is. Then these are basically bits of cardboard, a little bit thinner than what they were before. Um, I was going to papier mache them, but that proved to be quite a chore. That was just really difficult. Uh, so what I've done instead is I've used masking tape, and I've just basically coated it around that to give it that sturdy sort of look with no gaps underneath her at the top and uh, yeah all that will be I've got some silver spray paint spray that silver give it a bit of detail in and I'm hoping that works nicely but um, compared to what it was and I've got three of these done now compared to what that was um, I'm just hoping that looks a little bit better because I, I did that original V sort of symbol that he's got there and um, it was a bit too thick and when the pictures came out I thought it doesn't look right so I'm hoping that looks a little bit better. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And it's I, I, I'm hoping to wear this costume on Saturday. And I'm saying hoping because it's freaking hot. It really, I mean, if you imagine, you've got a wig, you've got the mask. I also wear kind of like a biker's cover across my face to hide my neck. You've got the shirt, you've got the jeans, you've got the belt, and you've got the cape, you've got a hat. It's hot. Back in March... It was a godsend because it was obviously in Newcastle, it was a bit cold. I uh, stood out in the rain waiting to go in and I had the whole costume on. Uh, my wife drove actually and I, I, I drove down in the costume and I'm going past cars kind of like just looking out the window with my V-mask and getting reactions of kind of like people going, <laughs> you know, it was really funny. Um, so I drove down in it, what well, my wife drove and I was a passenger in it. And um, yeah, and it, so it was absolutely fine, but inside the hall it did get quite hot as well. So I'm hoping to wear it, but I'll be honest, if it's going to be kind of like 30 degrees like we had last week, I ain't wearing that costume. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really, really want to, but I'm not going to kill myself over it. It was ridiculously hot here in England uh, last week. It's too hot for us. We're not used to that sort of heat. Come on, this is England. We're used to what it is now. It's raining outside. This is what we're used to. Um, it's like the, the goons once said, um, typical English... Typical English evening. Yes, it's lovely. The way, rain is lovely and warm. And I love that line. So yeah, that's what we're used to. If it's a really hot day, I'm not going to kill myself over it. If it's a relatively hot, but not overly, then yeah, I'll wear it. So um, anyway, I'm hoping to. Uh, I'm 90% sure I will. Um, but I might just wear it for half a day. But we'll see. Anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do another one later, another, uh, later on during the week because I need to fix the belt as well. So I'm going to show you what I did with that. And then before London, I will do another video and I'll wear the whole costume and show you what it looks like completed. Uh, so I hope you enjoy these. It's a little bit different than what I usually post, a little bit different to what I usually uh, do uh, videos of. I hope you enjoyed it. A um, bit of a difference. And I am coming back to reviewing um, figures. Uh, that was the other thing I was going to say. I have recently bought a new Batman Automobilia from our Eagle Moth, which should hopefully be on its way in the next few days, which I will review. And in doing that, it made me realise I have three Batmobiles there that I picked up and I didn't review for some reason. I thought I had, uh, but after I picked up this new one... Um, I looked at my collection as to where I'm going to put it on the shelf and looked at the three and thought, I didn't review them. So, yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that. So, yeah, I'm going to bring you them as well. So that's the Eagle Moss chess collection, the Batman automobile from Eagle Moss, uh, the continuation of the creation of my V costume, um, and also the surprise that's hiding in the back there. So quite a few things I've got planned for you guys. I do intend to come back. Again, apologies on not being around. Thank you for um, staying subscribed to me. Thank you as well to all the new subscribers who've been subscribing this year while I've not been around. Um, that's that's been quite quite cool to see on my um, internet uh, that the, the email someone so subscribed to you. Um, that's really meant a lot. I know I might have lost quite a few people because I've not been around. That's cool. That's fine. Thank you for staying around, though. Um, I hope you enjoy what I've got planned for you. And um, yeah. I will see you again very soon. Until then, take care, everyone. Nice to see you again. I'll see you soon.